Hey guys, welcome back to the Entertainment Lab. And in this video, I bring you season 2 recap of Attack on Titans. So without wasting time, let's jump right into it. And before that, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. The Titans within Wall Cena is discovered by Hanji. A man, Pastor Nick, rushes to the scene and tells them to cover up the Titan to shield it from sunlight. Pastor Nick's knowledge of about the Titan causes Hanji to interrogate him. 12 hours earlier, Aaron fellow graduates are stationed to an outpost south of Wall Cena. When Titans are spotted approaching the south, the graduate and their superiors are split into four teams. and sent to warn and evacuate the nearby civilians section commander michi stayed behind to battle the titans but is defeated by the intelligent ape like beast titan who is capable of speech that thing attached to your waist that allows you to fly later connie springer one of the graduates arrive at his hometown of ragako with his group and discover a titan lying on its back in the ruins of a house The Titan's limbs are too stunned for it to move, which raises question about how it penetrated Wall Rose in the first place. For the more, when two of the teams meet up after checking out the wall, they conclude that there was no breach to begin with. While resting at the old castle together, the two teams end up being attacked by a group of Titans led by Beast Titan. Left on their own after the experienced soldier are killed, the graduated are saved by one of their own. Yamir who transform into a small titan. Hanji arrives with the reinforcement before Yamir is overwhelmed. Krista Lenz, a kind and caring graduate who becomes close with Yamir during a training exercise in the past, reveals that her real name is Historia. The scouts send an unconscious Yamir back to the trust for medical attention. But another unexpected situation pops up. Two of the graduates, Renier Brown and Berthold Hover, reveals themselves to be the armor titan and colossal titan respectively although elen almost manages to beat renier in the titan to titan brawl he ends up getting captured renier and bertol intend to bring aren to their homeland which lies beyond the walls yamir is also taken away but eventually sides with renier and bertol after she wakes up yamir's condition is that she may bring historia who is actually the illegitimate child of the nobleman with them yemi supposedly wants to trade historia for her own safety but she is ultimately motivated by a desire to protect the latter it is revealed that yemi was worshiped by a cult in the past and was captured by soldiers and transformed into a titan decades later and shortly before the fall of valmaria she gained the ability to transform after consuming marsel one of the rainiers bertol and anis lies meanwhile one of hanji's subordinate arrives at dragako and realizes that the immobile titan resembles connie's mother the scouts catch up to the rainier and bertol kicking off an intense chase in which erwin loses an arm aaron displays the ability to control other titans which Yemi respects to be the reason that Venier and Bertol are after him. In the end, Aaron is successfully retrieved by the scout and also put an end to the titan who ate his mother. Yemi, who switched side again during the chase, chooses to leave Historia to save Venier and Bertol from other titans who were lured to the area as the part of Erwin's plan. Yemi decides to follow Renier and Bertol to their homeland so they will not be punished for returning empty-handed. A report by Hanji and Connie's concluded that the titans that had appeared within the wall rose were actually transformed citizens from Ragako. Finally, the beast titan is revealed to be the blonde beast spectacled man. Thank you very much for watching this video for season 1 and 3 recap. Click the link or go to the description section. And if you like this video hit the like button and for more such content like this subscribe to our channel